Custom ROMs on Android can bring a number of benefits to the user. Some of these ROMs are loaded up, loaded up with features in order to attract users, while others opt for a more minimalistic approach for stability and security. Proton AOSP is a well-known custom ROM for select Google Pixel smartphones. And today I'll be showing you how to install this ROM on the Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. In fact, this video will be the same no matter which supported Pixel smartphone you currently have. And as of right now, Proton AOSP supports the Google Pixel 4, Pixel 4 XL, Pixel 4a, the Pixel 5, the Pixel 6, and the Pixel 6 Pro. So it doesn't matter which of these Pixel devices you have, this tutorial will help walk you through the install process for Proton AOSP. And we're also going to be using the web installer for this tutorial. Since Google's Android Flash tool has worked so well in my previous videos. Now to begin, we're going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. For instance, you will need to have the bootloader unlocked before we can be even begin to think about installing a custom ROM. We're also going to need to enable developer mode so that we can go into the hidden developer options menu and turn on USB debugging. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how to do any of that, be sure to check the video description below as I'll have links to all three of those requirements. When you're ready though, let's go ahead and connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable. And then we're going to open up this Proton AOSP website in Chrome on the desktop. So we're going to have our Pixel 6 connected to the PC with a USB cable. And I have gone into the Proton AOSP website, which I'll be linking in the video description as well. And when we get to the website, we're just going to click the install button. And it's going to take us to the web installer. So again, we're working with the Google Pixel 6 here. We're just going to make sure our device is supported and in this list before we click the blue start button right here. And now we're going to choose an install type. So if this is the first time we are installing Proton AOSP, then we need to do a clean install. If we are doing an update, then we can choose this method. But since we're going from stock Android or from another custom ROM to Proton AOSP, we need to select the clean install option. And once we get to this screen, we're going to be told that the device needs to be booted into bootloader mode. This is also known as fast boot mode. So we can do that by restarting the device. And while the device is restarting, we're going to hold the volume down button. And we're going to continue holding that volume down button until we are booted into fast boot mode. And now that we are in fast boot mode, we can reconnect that USB cable and then click the blue connect button right here. Now, if everything goes well, we are going to see the Pixel 6 in this pop-up box that pops up in the top left corner. So we're going to click the Pixel 6, and then we're going to click Connect. And then it's going to ask us which build we want to download. We can download 12.2.3, which is a minimal version without any Google apps or services. Or we can pick version 12.2.3, which comes with Google services included. This is the version most people are going to be familiar with because they want to use Google Play Store. But if you want a Google free version, then you're going to click this. Since I want to use this like a normal phone, I want to download my games and everything. I'm going to choose the one with Google services. Once we choose a build, you can see it's going to download and we're going to get this progress meter right here.
Uh, downloading this build shouldn't take too much time, but it likely will depend on how fast your internet is. Once the build has been downloaded, we're going to be taken to the install Proton ASP, AOSP page right here, where we're just going to click the blue install button. We're going to see our Pixel phone reboot a couple of times. As you just saw, it's going to restart it again. That means our phone goes black and then it boots right back up into fast boot mode. And just like the Google's web installer, we're just going to wait for this website to do all of the work for us. It has downloaded the firmware file for this custom ROM. And as it is unpacking each of the individual files, it is then flashing the required files to our device. We want to make sure that we do not touch the phone. We do not interact with the phone. We don't want to unplug the cable. We don't want to select any menu options that you see appear on the phone. You can see there are a lot of files that need to be unpacked and not only sent to our phone, but as you can see right here, written to our phone, written to partitions that are on our device.
Finally, after this last restart, we are going to be told installation is complete. And then our device is now running Proton AOSP. In this instance, that is version 2, 12.2.3. First thing you're likely going to notice is the boot animation, or at least the boot image. It matches the site logo of the Proton AOSP website that we saw. And this first boot can take a little longer than normal, but just be patient while you're at that screen and you should be taken to the Android activation screen. So we're just gonna skip through most of this. So we are able to boot into Android, check the about screen page to see we are on Proton AOSP, again version 12.2.3. Now again, a lot of people go for custom ROM because of the features that it offers. Proton AOSP offers many improvements on the stock Android experience, which is AOSP. And this includes better performance, a cleaner UI design, improved memory management, a number of under the hood tweaks. And a lot of these tweaks include Vulkan UI rendering, reduced apex overhead, and performance, at least on the Pixel 5, shows 18% faster app opening, 16% faster screenshot cap capturing, up to four times faster low-level memory management, and even faster image loading and saving, at least for JPG and PNG files. For anyone who wants to dive into the features of Proton AOSP, I'll be linking to the features page in the video description as well. They give a very detailed explanation of all the changes their custom ROM offers as opposed to the vanilla AOSP build. And that wraps up my tutorial showing how to install the Proton AOSP custom ROM on supported Google Pixel devices.